Traditionally, uh, arch up guitars have been uh, built using um, pieces of solid wood for the top and back. So essentially, the luthier would start with a piece of wood, uh, this thick, and carved uh, the uh, arch both for the top and back. In the 50s, uh, Gibson came up with the idea of uh, using laminated plates uh, instead of fully carved plates for uh, their arch top guitars. And immediately, uh, these guitars had a lot of success and still today uh, most arch up guitars on the market are built um, using these laminated plates and uh, here's one of these uh, it's a plate that is about one inch of an inch thick and it leads to an instrument that is extremely stable to uh, temperature changes and resistant to feedback so uh, most of the arch top on the market these days are made out of are using these um, uh, these laminated plates. Um, arch top guitars built using uh, laminated top and back have a great electric tone. Uh, but essentially, um, you know, from the acoustic point of view, they're not very useful instruments. Uh, and therefore, my challenge uh, has been in the building of that of that new line of arch top to come up with an arch top that would retain uh, the typical tone of um, an arch top guitar, but as well um, uh, a richer and more pronounced acoustic tone. Uh, and that acoustic tone is definitely not present in laminated instruments. So my challenge was essentially to come up with some kind of middle of the road solution where you can have an arch top guitar uh, uh, built using a laminate um, but with a, a, a good acoustic tone. Um, it may seem obvious uh, to a lot, of, uh, a lot of you watching that uh, the way to go uh, is to reduce uh, the thickness of the plate, uh, to uh, make it more uh, responsive to the assumed pressure. Um, even though this, this, is, um, this is obvious, uh, technically it's not that easy. Because the uh, veneers that are used in, in uh, these laminates are extremely thin. To get, to get a plate that is uh, stable um, is not something that is easy to do. Uh, the way this is achieved, that I've, I've managed to achieve that, is to use carbon fiber as one of the layer. Uh, it stabilizes the, uh, the, uh, the veneer and leads a plate leads to a plate that is about half the thickness of a um, uh, typical laminate plate. So the result is, is, uh, is a guitar that is extremely light. It's about a third uh, less weight than the typical arch top guitar using laminate plates. And in this guitar, everything else is done to reduce weight. For example, in this case, we're using, um, I've been using a, a Douglas fir neck instead of a, of a maple one and using um, carbon fiber rods in the neck to make it even more stable. Um, so the result is a guitar that I've nicknamed Feather because it's very light. And uh, I'm really quite happy uh, with this first prototype. Um, and uh, it's got an outstanding acoustic tone that I think would please the uh, most discriminating uh, archtop player.